A definition of the word pentacle, as per vocabulary.com. Pentacle. A five-pointed star can be called a pentacle. Some pagan religions consider the pentacle to be a deeply spiritual symbol. The pentacle, which is also called a pentagram, has been thought of as having protective or powerful magical properties for hundreds of years. The fact that a pentacle can be drawn with one continuous line is sometimes seen as meaningful or mystical. Pentacles are often used as one of the four suits in a tarot deck of fortune-telling cards, although sometimes they're called coins. The Greek root of pentacle is pente, five. 1. Noun. A star with five points, formed by five straight lines between the vertices of a pentagon and enclosing another pentagon. Synonyms of pentacle are for example, pentagram, and or pentangle. As per Merriam-Webster dictionary, the word pentagram is defined as, a figure of a five-pointed star usually made with alternate points connected by a continuous line and used as a magic or occult symbol also, a similar six-pointed star, such as a Solomon's seal. An example of why one would use a pentagram is due to a religious belief in Wicca. A real-life example was seen, after a long court battle, the pentagram, a five-pointed star associated with Wicca, became an accepted symbol for military gravestones in 2007. Reference, Helen A. Berger, The Conversation, 20 October 2021. Now, let's discuss and discover some historical points in time that defined the pentacle and pentagram. Please use your discernment, and note that this is only a perspective, if it does not resonate with you, it's not meant for you, if it feels interesting, follow your gut. Okay, let's begin. Symbols are used as a sort of shorthand to convey particular meanings. In and of itself, a symbol is fundamentally meaningless, and it is only the understanding we bring to it that actually gives it any definition. Any given symbol may have many meanings and so in order to choose the most accurate interpretation for it, one needs to understand the context in which the symbol was created. Context is vitally important as the definitions of symbols vary across time, geography, and culture. Consider, for example, a simple sign, two lines of equal length, intersecting perpendicularly at each other's center point. This is known as Greek cross, and it is used in Greek Orthodox Christianity and, in fact, in early Christianity to represent the cross of Christ's crucifixion. However, make the same sign in red and it becomes the red cross which symbolizes emergency medical care. Place numbers on either side of it, and it becomes a mathematical symbol meaning, addition. Place it within a circle, and it takes on further connotations as a solar emblem, or a Native American medicine wheel, or the sign of the Bulgarian Orthodox Church. Or, as another example, consider the case of the Latin cross. The Latin cross is today considered the most recognizable and common symbol of Christianity. The Latin cross is the symbol of the crucifixion of Christ. Modern media outlets frequently show an inverted Latin cross as a symbol meaning the rejection of Christianity. It is frequently portrayed as a common satanic symbol, which mocks the Christian faith. However, in another context, the inverted Latin cross is known as the Cross of St. Peter and represents the martyrdom of St. Peter, as told by Oregon of Alexandria. Peter, it is said, requested to be crucified upside down, as he felt he was not worthy to die in the same way as Christ. Consequently, the cross of St. Peter is regarded as a symbol of humility and unworthiness in comparison to Christ. The inverted Latin cross is sometimes used to indicate the papacy, as the successor to St. Peter as the Bishop of Rome. To add to the confusion however, the crucifix, a Latin cross with a depiction of Christ suffering upon it, cannot be hung upside down as it is seen as disrespectful of Christ. This demonstrates that even when it comes to symbols whose meanings are commonly regarded as having straightforward definitions, in reality are often much more complex. This underlines the need to identify the context of a given symbol. Blanket statements about the meaning of a symbol, without regard to the purposes of its creators or the cultural definitions of the emblem, are almost never accurate. An extremely apt example of this can be found in the symbol known as the pentacle, or pentagram. This is an ancient symbol, consisting of five lines connecting end to end to create a five-pointed star. Geometrically, this symbol is significant because it represents a mathematical concept known as the golden ratio. 
The golden ratio is defined as a ratio where a line can be divided into two segments, where the length of both segments is the same when compared to the first segment of the line, when the first is compared to the second. A plus B is the same proportional length of A alone, as A is to the length of B. Another way of visualizing it is through what is known as the Fibonacci sequence. In the Fibonacci sequence, each number is added to the one in front of it, to produce a sequence that goes like this, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, 144. The Fibonacci sequence can be recognized in the natural world when used as a ratio and compared to the measurements of a variety of naturally occurring forms. Examples can be found in seashells, flowers, pinecones, and even whirlpools. Consequently we are accustomed to seeing the ratio and we are aesthetically drawn to it. The golden ratio is commonly found in several geometric figures and was recognized as early as the Greek mathematician Pythagoras. He and his followers used the pentagram as a symbol identifying themselves as members of the Pythagorean school. The pentagram was variously referred to as Hygieia, or Health, and another variant was known as the Pentalpha. The Pentalpha consisted of five overlapping capital alphas, forming a pentagram. In this form, it represented truth. The pentagram, with its pentagon interior, represented, according to Pherecides of Syros in his book Pentamichos, a mystical emblem of an ordered cosmos. The recesses in the symbol were considered more important than the points of the star, and represented certain chambers, in which primordial chaos was sealed away before an ordered cosmos could appear. In this way it represents the universe and creation itself. The Greeks were certainly not the first to recognize the symbol of the pentagram, and they certainly were not the last. Archaeologically speaking, the pentagram has appeared in ancient Babylon, where, according to symbologist and Sumerian historian René Labat, the symbol probably had some directional and astronomical meanings to them. The inverted pentagram was found on seals in the city of Jerusalem for a time, surrounded by the letters YRSLM in Hebrew. The pentagram has a long history of Christian associations as well. According to scholars, the pentagram was used to represent the five senses, and each point was assigned a letter SALVS additionally, because the sign could be drawn with a single stroke of the pen, it was said to represent the Alpha and Omega, or Christ himself. It was used, according to some scholars, to represent the Star of Bethlehem, which guided the Magi West to find the birth of Jesus. In this form it meant divine incarnation, salvation, and the Holy Spirit descending to earth. In some icons of the Eastern Orthodox Church, the inverted pentagram is used to indicate the Mount of Transfiguration, where Christ spoke with Elijah and Moses, and was elevated above them as the Son of God. The inverted pentagram appears next to the chi Rho sign of Christ on the seal of Constantine the Great. Constantine was the first Roman emperor to convert to Christianity, and he legalized the practice of the religion in the Roman Empire. Scholars indicate that the pentagram was a lesser-used Christian symbol in this time. The pentagram was sometimes used by Greek Christians in lieu of a cross when beginning inscriptions. In the medieval era, it was said to represent the five wounds of Christ, and in the medieval poem Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, the symbol is used on the shield of the hero, to remind him of the five knightly virtues – noble generosity, fellowship, purity, courtesy, and compassion – and the five joys Mary had of Christ, typically the Annunciation, the Nativity, the Resurrection, the Ascension, and the Assumption. Popularly, the symbol was used as a sign of protection, and was thought to ward off both witches and devils. It was used as such from the Middle Ages into the 20th century. It was sometimes found carved above doors and windows, or on cribs, to protect the infant from harm. It was frequently mistakenly called the Seal of Solomon when it was used like this, in reference to the tales that King Solomon could rebuke and command demons. It is worth noting that the inverted pentagram, with two points up, is more often seen than the single point up during this time. The mathematical properties of the pentagram, noted by the Pythagoreans, and many later cultures, continue to influence artwork and architecture for centuries. It is thought that the floor plans of several Gothic cathedrals were actually designed according to the aesthetics of the golden ratio, and by plotting various points on the floor plans, perfect pentagrams can be discovered. More overtly, many churches incorporated pentagrams into their outward designs. 
The beautiful north-facing rose window of the cathedral at Amiens, in France, features a large inverted pentagram. The Marktkirche in Hanover, Germany has a prominent inverted pentagram on the side of its clock tower. The Church of All Saints at Killam, Humberside, Yorkshire, England displays these on columns that support the Norman doorway of the place. The aesthetics of the golden ratio, and the pentagram became of prime interest to artists during the Renaissance, and they began to incorporate the ratio into their artwork. The relation of the golden ratio and the pentacle in particular to the human body is first seen in the 1551 book Aeroglyphica, by Valeriano Bolzani, largely considered one of the first and most influential dictionaries of symbols ever produced. In it he displayed a picture of Christ superimposed over a pentagram. This depiction of the pentagram recalls that shown in Henry Cornelius Agrippa's Three Books of Occult Philosophy, first published in 1531. Agrippa shows a man superimposed over a pentagram, surrounded by astronomical symbols. In describing the symbol himself, he states, geometrical figures also arising from numbers, are conceived to be of no less power. Of these first of all, a circle doth answer to unity, and the number ten, for unity is the center, and circumference of all things, and the number ten being heaped together reaches into a unity from whence it had its beginning, being the end, and complements of all numbers. A circle is called an infinite line in which there is no terminus a quo, nor terminus ad chem, whose beginning and end is in every point, whence also a circular motion is called infinite, not according to time, but according to place, hence a circular being the largest and perfectest of all is judged to be the most fit for bindings and conjurations, whence they who adjure evil spirits, are wont to environ themselves about with a circle. A pentangle also, as with the virtue of the number five hath a very great command over evil spirits, so by its lineature, by which it hath within five obtuse angles, and without five acutes, five double triangles by which it is surrounded. To Agrippa, the pentagram was a sign of man as a microcosm of the universe. It represented the four elements in balance, and derived its power from the number five. In writing of the number five and its virtues, he notes, also this number hath great power in expiations, for in holy things it drives away devils, devils. In natural things, it expels poisons, poisons. It is also called the number of fortunateness, and favor, and it is the seal of the Holy Ghost, and a bond that binds all things, and the number of the cross, yea eminent with the principal wounds of Christ, whereof he vouchsafed to keep the scars in his glorified body. The heathen philosophers did dedicate it as sacred to Mercury, esteeming the virtue of it to be so much more excellent than the number four, by how much a living thing is more excellent than a thing without life. For in this number the father Noah found favor with God, and was preserved in the flood, flood of waters. In the virtue of this number Abraham, being an hundred years old, begat a son of Sarah, being ninety years old, and a barren woman, and past child-bearing, and grew up to be a great people. Hence in time of grace the name of divine omnipotency is called upon with five letters. In 1855, a French priest and occultist named Alphonse Constant, writing under the name Eliphas Levi, published a pair of books called The Dogma and Ritual of Transcendental Magic, in which he becomes the first person to assign a negative connotation to the inverted pentagram. He cites no source for this statement, and it comes as something of a surprise to students of the occult up to this point. Levi writes, the pentagram, which in Gnostic schools is called the blazing star, is the sign of intellectual omnipotence and autocracy. It is the star of the Magi, it is the sign of the word made flesh, and, according to the direction of its points, this absolute magical symbol represents order or confusion, the divine lamb of Ormuz and Saint John, or the accursed goat of Mendes. It is initiation or profanation, it is Lucifer or Vesper, the star of morning or evening. It is Mary or Lilith, victory or death, day or night. The pentagram with two points in the ascendant represents Satan as the goat of the Sabbath, when one point is in the ascendant, it is the sign of the Savior. The pentagram is the figure of the human body, having the four limbs and a single point representing the head. A human figurehead downwards naturally represents a demon that is, intellectual subversion, disorder or madness. There seems to be little proof of this in folk traditions and magic. The inverted pentagram continued to be used as a sign of protection almost universally. For example, the inverted pentagram appears in the hex signs of the Pennsylvania Dutch. 
It is also worth noting that Levi incorrectly identifies the animal used in the rituals of the city of Mendes with a goat. In fact, in the descriptions of the rituals used by Herodotus specifically mentions that the people of Mendes would not sacrifice a goat, and instead would use a ram in their sacrifices. The god of Mendes was known as Banabje, or the Bar of Jet, and was depicted as a ram-headed man draped in the fleece of a ram. Levi worked with English occultists, who eventually went on to form what was known as the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn. Despite this, Levi's work was not translated and published in English until 1896. It is curious however that even members of the Golden Dawn do not necessarily agree with the Levi's claim that the inverted pentagram represents evil. His translator, Arthur Edward Waite, repeated this belief in his own works. However, perhaps the most famous member of the Golden Dawn, Alistair Crowley, explained that he believed the inverted pentagram represented spirit manifesting into the material. In this he echoes the medieval ideas that the symbol represented the Star of Bethlehem, and represented the incarnation of God on Earth, through Christ. The representation of the inverted pentagram as connoting something evil is also denied in the foundations of Wicca. Gerald Gardiner, founder of the modern Wicca movement used the pentagram, which in Gnostic schools is called the Blazing Star, is the sign of intellectual omnipotence and autocracy. It is the star of the Magi, it is the sign of the Word made flesh, and, according to the direction of its points, this absolute magical symbol represents order or confusion, the divine Lamb of Ormuz and Saint John, or the accursed goat of Mendes. It is initiation or profanation, it is Lucifer or Vesper, the star of morning or evening. It is Mary or Lilith, victory or death, day or night. The pentagram with two points in the ascendant represents Satan as the goat of the Sabbath, when one point is in the ascendant, it is the sign of the Savior. The pentagram is the figure of the human body, having the four limbs and a single point representing the head. A human figurehead downwards naturally represents a demon that is, intellectual subversion, disorder or madness. Pentagrams as symbols to indicate the level of instruction a person had received in the craft. The first degree was a simply pentagram with a single point up, the second degree was an inverted pentagram, and the third degree of initiation was represented as an upward pointed pentagram with a triangle superimposed over the uppermost ray. He did not assign any particular meaning to it, other than to note that the points of the pentagram were a reminder and indicator of the five elements, earth, fire, water, air, and spirit. Gardiner's interpretation has proved popular not only with Wiccans, but with other neo-pagan religions that have since developed. In the 1960s, Anton Sandor LaVey founded the Church of Satan in the United States, and needed a recognizable symbol to use as a logo. He trademarked the now infamous inverted pentagram superimposed with a goat's head, surrounded by the Hebrew letters for Leviathan, as the official logo of the Church of Satan. LeVay used the inversion to represent the suppression of the spiritual in favor of the carnal. At this point, the inverted pentagram was linked with Satan and Satanism in the popular imagination, largely due to the flamboyant and charismatic Lavi's promotion of his church during the 1960s and 1970s. Media outlets, such as television, Hollywood, and record companies, were quick to capitalize on the association with the imagery for their own benefit. The inverted pentagram began to appear in Hollywood horror movies, television programs, and on heavy metal album covers. With each appearance, the connection between the pentagram and Satanism grew. The pentagram appears occasionally in Masonic artwork and construction, and is itself the emblem of the Order of the Eastern Star, the women's arm of the Freemasons, established in 1850. It is common for a Masonic sign to appear on a building in which they were involved. Freemasonry was extremely common for prominent U.S. figures during the 18th and 19th centuries. However, the Eastern Star is usually drawn with each point in a distinctive color, and with an additional symbol in each ray. These are said to represent five heroines of the Bible, consisting of Adar, Ruth, Esther, Martha, and Electa. In recent years, the internal pentagon of the emblem has been rotated so that it is no longer a traditional pentagram. 
However, the pentagram is linked to Freemasonry and their rites in some way. Researchers sometimes say, the five pointed star is found on most Masonic memorabilia and represents the blasphemous resurrection rite of the five points of fellowship, each point mystically symbolizing a part of the resurrection act. First, foot to foot. Second, knee to knee. Third, hand in hand. Fourth, breast to breast. Fifth and last, left hand behind back. We also see pentagrams in geometry. The pentagram is the simplest regular star polygon. The pentagram contains ten points, the five points of the star, and the five vertices of the inner pentagon, in fifteen line segments. Like a regular pentagon, and a regular pentagon with a pentagram constructed inside it, the regular pentagram has as its symmetry group the dihedral group of order ten. It can be seen as a net of a pentagonal pyramid although with isosceles triangles. The pentagram can be constructed by connecting alternate vertices of a pentagon. It can also be constructed as a stellation of a pentagon, by extending the edges of a pentagon until the lines intersect. This leads into the pentagram of Venus. The pentagram of Venus is the apparent path of the planet Venus as observed from Earth. Successive inferior conjunctions of Venus repeat with an orbital resonance of approximately 13 to 8, that is, Venus orbits the Sun approximately 13 times for every 8 orbits of Earth, shifting 144 degrees at each inferior conjunction. The tips of the five loops at the center of the figure have the same geometric relationship to one another as the five vertices, or points, of a pentagram, and each group of five intersections equidistant from the figure's center have the same geometric relationship. To conclude, as there are several examples throughout history of the meaning and origins of the pentagram, let's take a look at Da Vinci's Vitruvian Man. Vitruvian Man is a famous drawing with accompanying notes by Leonardo da Vinci made around the year 1490 in one of his journals. It depicts a naked male figure in two superimposed positions with his arms apart and simultaneously circumscribed in a circle and square. The drawing and text are sometimes called the Canon OF proportions. It has been discovered that Da Vinci followed a mathematically precise geometric model for the construction not only of the square, the circle and the equilateral triangle, which fits the spread apart pair of legs, but also of a pentagram which Da Vinci chose to hide. With this model, all four of the geometric shapes are pure functions of the radius of the circle. Although Da Vinci hid the pentagram, most likely because he was using it as a Freemasonic occult symbol, he pointed to its hidden presence by creating a device which makes use of a slight reduction in the radius of the model circle and a minor change in one corner of the square. To conclude, today neo-pagans or Wiccans, enjoy the pentacle symbol and it is often seen on necklaces. For example, the triple moon represents the phases of the moon which are linked to the three aspects of the goddess and the phases of the life of women, waxing for the maiden, full for the mother, waning for the crone. The pentacle expresses the holistic relationship between human spirituality and the physical universe. Or you see pentacles or pentagrams on Wiccan or pagan altars. You see designs on Etsy on the pentagram or pentacle and it means the same thing or it means something different to everyone, mostly it means homage to the goddess aspect and the five elements, earth, air, fire, water, and ether, great spirit. Therefore this symbol may have lost its original meaning over the past centuries, but it still is an occult tool that can help awaken individuals who feel called to its sign. I would suggest to let go of forms and attachments to religious symbols and focus more on your inner being and oneness. Sure occult tools can help, but it's the person who directs the energy behind it, not the symbol itself. So if you are afraid of pentacles it's only a fear because of your belief systems. Nothing can harm you, you are always within divinity, you just have to balance yourself. As for the pentacle and pentagram, I have used its symbol in the past and have let go of it, I only see it now as a symbol of Mother Nature. My focus is within my mind and not on material forms. Take from this explanation as you will, respecting all beings in this free will universe. Much love and gratitude. This I close.